Bruce, today we are talking about a very fun topic, which is staying positive. And this has a, 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 a grand effect on your entire business from, from when you're in the mall to when you're outside the mall talking to other people. Oh, I couldn't occur with you more. I, again, this is another another one of those 12 points that is critical. Your positivity is contagious. Your negativity is contagious. You need to realize that when you come into contact with people, everything's a choice. Everything's action or reaction. If you choose to come at somebody from a negative standpoint, yep. you breed negativity. If you choose to come at somebody, whether it be the staff in the mall, whether it be the people you're wanting to purchase from with a positive attitude, a positive persona, you build positivity. You're better received. Yeah, some people are going to look at you like, oh, this cat's just a little out there. But you know what? I've made many, many good friends who've told me how much that I breathe life into what it is they do daily because I try and strive to be positive. Yes, it's a, it's a pleasant topic for a lot of people. And if you're positive with, with what you're doing, in this it's going to show in your booth design and your layout it, it is something that carries over from from how you interact with people to how how your appearance is in your space and I, I i also concur with that you know as as being one of the staff members who helps you i'm not going to say we could be bribed with baked goods but we can <laughs> and i do want to tell you when you're nice and positive to the people behind the counter the ones you leave there when yeah. you leave who are going to take care of your customers they remember you in that fashion when you come at them and you're pointing your finger at them and you're mad at them just because you want to take out your anger it's no different than your own children it's no different than your spouse it's no different than anybody you come into contact with. If you breathe that negativity, you're only hurting yourself. If you breathe positivity, you're helping yourself because they're going to remember you. Right. And this is like functioning in everyday life. Uh, you're going to hear from, from people, whether it's customers or dealers, you're going to hear some sourness. Uh, we encourage people to stay away from that. Just let that go one ear and out the other and stay on the positive end because that's where you're going to do well and, and our interest is in you succeeding. Yeah, and it helps you to build. And you know what? It's not only contagious to other people, it's contagious to yourself. When you make the conscious decision that today I'm going to do nothing but seek out the positives, by the end of your day, you're going to look back and found out, find out that you had a better personal day. And you know the old pay it forward method? You build positivity in other people and you make things happen. People want to be around you. People want to buy from you. People want to be in your space. Try it. Right. You'll like it. If you, if you want to do well, set yourself up to, to be a pleasant person that everyone wants to be around. And I mean, look at me. Look at Dan. How could you not love us? Right. We're being positive. But Brasser Medillo is one of those feel good retail businesses. You, you, you should f want to come in and you should feel good as you're, as you're going out. So no matter what you're buying or whatever, the customers should have a great feeling. And that's why we, we really work hard at keeping negative conversation or less than pleasant conversations in a private manner so that customers don't hear, you know, if somebody's unhappy about something that, that has gone on in their space or, or whatever, that it's not right in front of customers because no one wants to hear the sour, you know, the sour words if, you know, or, or the unpleasant comments that, you know, that may come up. So it's, it is something that we strive for is to have, have a great face on our mall. No, I couldn't agree more. And when they come in, just remember this, it's a blank book when they come to your facility for the first time or when they have the opportunity to meet you or talk to you and how that book is written is based on what they see, how they're treated, and you want that customer to write a positive story about you. Yes. You want them to say, hey, the, the people were nice, the people were pleasant. I mean, that's some of our number one comments is that we made their day. In this day and age, there's a lot of places out there that are not personal. They're not striving to bring that level of customer service. People are hungry for it. Friends, this is how you can make an event, yes. how you can make money, how you can draw people back. I mean, you, you remember the phrases, never let them see you sweat, fake it till you make it. Those are all very true and they're all about positivity. Yep, yep, a, a, a great topic and we encourage everyone to, to practice it and practice it as much as they can because it is, it is such a vital part of our business. 
Love it. Love the idea. Bruce, thanks again. We will see you on the next one. I'm looking forward to that as well.